Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Papa Belli Pro to create an opt in landing page on your website. And I'm going to do that using Headway Themes. So, first, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new page under our WordPress site. So, that's just pages, add new, and let's call this our landing page. And for now, I'm just going to hit publish. Next, we're going to go into Pop-Up Ally Pro and we're going to create a brand new pop-up. Let's rename this one for our landing page. And now let's make this an embedded signup. So this box will show up using a short code. And this is the key. We're going to need this when we're actually editing our headway theme. And by the way, you can do this in any theme, but I'm going to show you how to do it in headway. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this page shows the pop up. So our page here was called landing page. So I have checked that and now let's hit save. Okay, so this is what my page looks like without having done any changes in Headway. So let's go into Headway, Visual Editor, and Grid. I'm just going to clone the layout for now. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of things happening on this page. And since I want it to be a very, very simple landing page without a header, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the navigation and delete the header. And I also don't want a sidebar, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I do want this block here in the middle. I might resize it so it takes up the whole page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it and switch block type. And for now, I'm going to want this to be custom code. So yes, I do want to switch. And now in my content area, I'm going to paste the short code that we just created for Papa Ballet Pro. So let's do that and let me just remove some of those other blocks that I might not need and hit save. Okay, now so now I'm going to refresh this style settings to change the look and feel of this embedded opt-in. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is put in your opt-in code from a Weber, MailChimp, or whatever email service that you're using. And now we're going to go into using the limitless. That's the one that I like to use most of the time because you can just make pretty much anything happen with the limitless feature. So the other thing I like to do is to collapse the menu. That way I just get a little bit more working space. Let's make this a white background. And I will upload an image just because I feel like that tends to make things a little bit more professional. Since this is going to be a whole page, I'm going to make this way taller and way wider as well. And I'm not going to use an image here, at least for now. No other image. Let's just keep the text as it is for now. And what I will do is change the position once my image is uploaded. So I'm just going to hit save. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so I've got my image here on the side. As you can tell, this area is taking up a little bit too much space. So let's resize some of those details here. All right, so let's move this over. So I might want maybe 30 pixels of a padding there. Um, that looks fine to me. So now let's line up those other fields. And let's say I want to hide the last name field for now. So let's make this 30. Okay, and let's move things up ever so slightly and just make them a little bit smaller. And I'm just basically moving things around so it looks all nice and lined up here. And let's move this one up too. Let's go with 270, uh, 260. Great, and we might want to resize the width as well. Okay, great. So that looks pretty good. Now I might actually want to bump everything back down ever so slightly here. Um, and actually what I might do is I'm going to add a little bit more text. I'm going to add another text box here. So in this text box, I might say starting with a free checklist and a downloadable. So as you can tell, we need to move things over. And again, we need to bump things down here. So this is a little bit of 
you know, not necessarily trial and error, but just really figuring out what's going to work for you here. And in this case, I'm going to change the font color so it kind of matches with what we had going on here. And we do want this to be wider. And I might actually want the font to be a little bit smaller. So you're seeing these changes behind the other stuff. So let me move that real quick. So let's go 70, 80, 210. Okay, great. And now let's add 40, 70. Okay, and this might be 310. Okay, great. So, okay, let's actually move that down even more. Great, so now we're starting to get somewhere, as you can tell, and I'm not really liking this font that I picked, so let's try something different here. Uh, let's see. There we go. I actually think this line height is too tall, so I'm going to go with a nice 24. Let's add a little bit more space here. Great, so now this is starting to shape up a little bit. So let's hit save. Great, so that's, as you can tell, all it took to get an opt-in created here for your headway site, or you could use any theme as long as you can put in a short code and remove the extra stuff on your page. And of course you could add another little um, text box there that says, you know, your privacy is safe with us and you can kind of add a little bit more information if you wanted to, but that's really all it takes to get an opt-in landing page done with the combination of Pop-Up Ally Pro and a pretty simple WordPress theme like Headway Themes. So I hope this was helpful and I will catch you next time.